always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome in 522. It is Thursday, which means we're one step closer to Friday and we want to start you off on a good note here. So Adam Olivier, no pressure. We want to start things off on a good note. What you got? I mean, overall, it's not anything worse than what we've seen. So Perfect. that's, you know, a positive we'll spin it. on it. It's more of the same in your forecast. The heat, the humidity, it's all sticking around Scott and Alex. And you can see that for your sportsman's forecast this morning. We are tracking those temperatures generally in the 70s. Lots of sunshine out there, a calm start to the day, but those winds pick up during the afternoon hours and we'll also see some showers and storms, at least the potential for them. Not a really high potential, but a little bit better than let's say the past three or four days. Our Crowley Tower camera showing that down Parkerson Avenue right now. There is no one. Oh, OK, now as soon as I say that one person on the roadway, the flag is still atop the first National Bank building as the winds have gone calm. They will stay light through the morning time, variable in direction, but we are seeing those very humid conditions. 77 degrees in Lafayette right now, 76 in New Iberia, 72 in Abbeville, 75 in Jennings, and 71 in Opelousas. Radar is quiet, not expecting to see much of a rain chance out there through the morning time or really even into the afternoon, though I'd still bring an umbrella just in case a storm finds you because our future cast is picking up on the idea that we would see a few showers and storms. Been talking about this for the past few days, a little system in the upper levels moving to our south. It may bring in just enough moisture to get a few of those showers and storms going starting around lunchtime and carrying on through the afternoon and evening time frame. But as you see, there's not much that we're going to be tracking out there today. I'm being very optimistic with the rain chances I have this high that is controlling our weather right now. It is really stuck in and that is going to keep us from seeing much in the way of cooling relief out there. Going into the overnight, we do it all over again with those light winds variable in direction. You'll see that we have some clouds working their way on shore, according to future casts through the morning hours on your Friday. By the afternoon, if you're looking for any rain to help cool you off eh, outside of an isolated shower or storm down around the coast, there's not going to be much to track. For today, those highs creeping closer to that 100 degree mark in some spots. Upper 90s in many areas with lots of sunshine. Waking up tomorrow, mid to upper 70s once again. And then tomorrow itself, we'll see those upper 90s. Sunny clouds will mix an isolated storm chance, but again, very, very low with that. Uh, you know, we're going to go through the next seven days here, bumping up very close to that 100 degree mark. And at any point in time, starting Saturday through next Wednesday, we could hit 100 or even exceed it. It's going to depend on the wind direction. If we get more of a westerly wind, that is going to help us out in hitting that 100 degree mark. If we see more of a southerly wind, a little extra humidity in the air, that's going to keep us in those upper 90s. But regardless, 98, 101, what's the difference when you have high humidity and it feels like 110 when you walk outside? It's a matter of what goes in the record books here for Acadiana through the next seven days. Either way you slice it, it's going to be hot. Yeah. Humidity, according to Wikipedia. Oh, the concentration the of water vapor present in the air. Water yes. vapor, the gaseous state of water. It may feel heavy. Very heavy and I sticky. Do, I do remember learning about that the word water vapor. Anywho, Adam, listen, thank you so much. We're going to be checking in, of course, with you throughout the morning. See you in a bit.